my role as the commanding general of U.S. Army to Japan is to ensure that um, we sustain this co-op program. I believe this co-op program is one of the most important bilateral programs that we have here in U.S. Army Japan. It is a program where we take selected uh, Japan ground self-defense officers and NCOs and immerse them in a 10-week program where they live, work, and play side by side with U.S. Army Japan units. Well, this, this program is very important to the United States Army Japan and the Ground Self-Defense Force. And it's important that each member of uh, each entity gets an opportunity not only to learn about the program, but to become actively engaged in the program. We are strong allies, the United States and Japan, and we are closely knitted uh, with the United States Army, uh, Japan, and the, the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force. So active engagement and participation in the program gives us the opportunity to, to not only build upon what we have, but also gives our young soldiers who are the future of both the Ground Self-Defense Force in the United States Army of Japan gives them the opportunity to get to know one another, to talk about the things that, uh, that they need to do and we need to do as a team to, to, to strengthen our relationship, to, to move forward, because these are the leaders of the future. Uh, one of the programs that we run is the co-op program, which is a 10-week course where we invite uh, members of the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force to Camp Zama to embed with the USERJ units and they'll be assigned a sponsor. I'm the G5 NCOIC. I supervise the day-to-day -day activities, structure, and content of the uh, co-op program. I also serve as a liaison between the co-ops and various sister service representatives. Thanks to this program, I learned how the U.S. Army operated and what the U.S. Army soldiers' motivation is. I think uh, it's at the very foundation of our very, very strong alliance and relationship with Japan. By working side by side, we, do, we develop uh, SOPs, techniques, tactics, and procedures on how our armies operate and work at the very basic level. I, and I believe it's the foundation of this very, very strong alliance that we have. It also allows us to learn how to work together, how to interoperate together as we, as we train and exercise more closely. Uh, as with many of our other programs uh, in the Ground Self-Defense Force and United States Army Japan, it, it, it helps us to understand our approach to getting business done from a day-to-day -day basis. It improves an already strong relationship that we have, uh, and it also gives us the opportunity to learn about the things that we need to do to build on uh, our relationship in the future. The importance of our soldiers participating in the co-op program is that it gives them a, uh, an opportunity to learn from an individual ground self-defense force soldier what they do how they do it, how they operate. Uh, as we've learned over the past 10 years in Iraq and Afghanistan, human capital is our biggest investment. And when we can integrate our soldiers with ground self-defense force soldiers and create that bond, it will only help us uh, in terms of interoperability should we have to uh, work together uh, in the future. This program is designed to create relationships at the most basic level person to person. That is where all great relationships start between countries. Uh, getting many friends uh, through the use of learning English in the uh, U.S. Army beneficial and fulfilled education system. And never getting the, like that situation uh, in the daily ground self-defense force life. Very productive. It was very pro productive. The relationship I built with my sponsor is very good. We still keep in touch, and then if he has some, you know, some questions about Japanese military, I uh, answer for him. And if I have, he also mentioned to uh, tell it to me. And not only about just those questions, but also we talk about some culture stuff and or you know some English book, English grammar stuff. Or yeah, we help out each other still, and we have a great relationship. 
I built a close relationship with my sponsor, including my family, because I live nearby Camp Zama, and I could easily take my family to my sponsor's house. She often invited me, invited us to her house for fun events such as Halloween or Thanksgiving, and so on. So she has already gone back to the states, but I still keep in touch with her. Well, you know, I think it allows us to sustain something that we've done over the last decade uh, during Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Enduring Freedom. Over the last decade, our soldiers, officers, and NCOs had learned how to work with other militaries from other countries. This program allows us to sustain that capability because we learned the culture and the environments that other armies work in together. And this program uh, absolutely allows us to do that. Without a doubt, without a doubt, the most important aspect and beneficial aspect of the co-op program are the relationships that are built between sponsors and the co-op candidates. Those are lifelong relationships that, that never end. And then we'll, at some point down the road, uh, as sponsors and, and, and also as co-op students, uh, meet somewhere down the road and, and, and talk about the great times that we had, the ideas that we shared, the uh, cultural exchanges that we had. And, and that vies for uh, a strong bond between not only those two individuals, but a strong bond between uh, the United States and Japan. The co-op program is one of many programs that help enhance our bilateral relationship with the country of Japan. Uh, in terms of U.S. Army and Ground Self-Defense Force, having these soldiers interact with each other for a 10-week period and then be able to understand our culture and our soldiers understand their culture and how we can interoperate together is one of the biggest uh, enhancers to our bilateral relations. And this program is, is where the rubber meets the road, where the soldiers are in the foxhole learning together and how they can work together in the future. I learned that the U.S. Army takes leadership very seriously. I hadn't thought about leadership in such a serious way before joining the co-op program, but I realized it can be applied to my daily life as well. I learned the, the importance of the role of NCO and their leadership. I had lots of opportunities to see the leadership by NCO through the various kinds of training. I believe the co-op program shows the Japanese and U.S. commitment not only to each other, but also to the security of the Pacific AOR as a whole. You know, I think the other thing that we get from the co-op program is the personal and professional relationships that are developed over that 10-week period between NCO and NCO and officer and officer. You really cannot put a price tag on something that that's important and that valuable. Valuable lessons and training for me were uh, rapid training at Camp Fuji and combat lifesaver training with medic and interpretation class by G5. As a result of this program, I learned the importance of patriotism and family. I'd definitely recommend this program to others. It is said, seeing is believing. The U.S. Army is our great partner. We should know each other and deepen our friendship. With that bond, uh, should we ever have to operate together, be it exercise or in a real world operation, such as Operation Tomodachi, uh, that bond will come together, whether it's those two individuals or the ground self-defense force soldier, just seeing a U.S. Army soldier. They know how we operate, they know our culture, and uh, it, it makes it easy for them to approach us and, and work together. Well, I am a, a big supporter of the co-op program. Uh, we value the importance of the co-op program here in the United States Army Japan. As for as long as we have run this program, we've had nothing but positive feedback on the outcomes or the outputs from each engagement. The, to interact with the, the soldiers of the Ground Self-Defense Force, 
not only to teach them about our culture, but to learn about the Japanese culture and the friends that are made. It's, it's rewarding to every individual. It's rewarding to both organizations. And we put a lot of energy and a lot of manpower and man hours behind this program because we know the importance and the value of this program. And it can be seen day to day in the actions of the Ground Self-Defense Force. It can be seen day to day in the actions of United States Army Japan. In those classes, in each class, we believe there sits a future senior officer in the Ground Self-Defense Force, a future Sergeant Major for the Ground Self-Defense Force, or for that fact, for the, the, the joint staff uh, of, of, of the, the Japan Self-Defense Force. So everything that we put in, the more that we put in, the more that we get out not just the ground self-defense force soldiers or the co-op soldiers, but uh, our, our American soldiers who sponsor uh, each one of those, ca those candidates. So uh, I look forward as, as a Sergeant Major of the United States Army Japan, as an ambassador for the United States to, to, to participate in each event, uh, to do what I can to share my experiences um, with not only the, the co-op soldiers, but the, the young sponsors who, who actively engage in the program. Uh, it's, it's very rewarding. And I, I, I think I speak for all that participate in this program uh, when I say that uh, it, it, we couldn't have a better program between uh, the Ground Self-Defense Force and United States Army Japan. I think it's at the very foundation of the strong alliance that we have uh, with the country of Japan learning to interoperate together uh, side by side. Uh, these officers and NCOs uh, live, work, and play with their counterparts. And quite frankly, it's a two-way street. We learn from each other. Um, and when you can learn from each other on how to better operate, it makes both our armies together. It allows us to bridge those gaps 